Beards have long been a symbol of masculinity, adding ruggedness to any man's appearance. And throughout history, there have been several iconic celebrities who have sported beards as they captivate the world on the big screen. In today's video, we want to share a few of these men who rock very different beard lengths and tell you how you can achieve their legendary style. First up, a nod to the captain, Chris Evans. In the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Captain America, played by Chris Evans, was known for his clean-shaven, all-American look. However, in Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame, we were all pleasantly surprised to see Steve Rogers rocking a full beard. Now, in my personal opinion, the visual transformation represented a significant shift in his character and symbolized his maturity as a man. It reflected the weight of his experiences, sacrifices, and the burdens he carried as not only a superhero, but as a man. And I think we can all relate to this to some degree. Well, off screen, Chris has been sporting a well-groomed full beard for a while now. Now, Chris didn't stop by the warehouse so we can measure in person, but if I had to guess, he's rocking around the 15 millimeter guard length throughout his beard to keep this tight beard style. If you're looking for something similar to this, guys, this is about as easy as it gets. Grab your MT1 and attach the 15 millimeter guard with the ceramic trimmer head blade adjusted back to the longest setting and go to work to trim everything down. Keep your cheek lines high and your neckline just above your Adam's apple using a razor or your MT1 Zero blade. It looks like he rounds the corners of his beard, giving his beard a nice natural shape. To make trimming this area easier, grab a second handheld mirror and use the two together to see the natural blind spots on your beard. All right, next up, I want to acknowledge the talented Jared Leto. Actor, musician, beardsman. He truly does it all. Now, though his beard is typically short to medium, he's been known to wear it longer and I think it suits him well. Jared rocks what I'd consider a naturally shaped beard. He doesn't really sport super hard lines or a really tight fade through the sideburns and cheeks, but rather trims his beard to complement how it grows naturally. You can accomplish this look by letting your beard grow naturally for a couple of months and then take your M21 beard trimmer and hedge the outsides of the beard to really just trim away the flyaway hairs that poof out all wild. You really want to focus your attention on the sideburns and upper cheek areas, as well as the back corners so your beard doesn't grow too wide. This will give you a really nice natural length to it as it grows out, which will complement your overall face shape really well. Now, what I love most about this style beard specifically is the maintenance required. Sure, yeah, it's not so finely tuned in as Captain America's, it's not the tight fade, but guys, it requires much less frequent attention and this style looks really great. So if you're looking to clean up the sides just a little bit, I'd recommend focusing on the sideburns, focus on the upper cheeks, and then let this, the rest of your beard really grow longer and it's gonna look fantastic. All right, last but not least, one of the most unique beards in the biz, Hugh Jackman, and specifically his role in the X-Men film series, Wolverine. Hugh's beard is synonymous with Wolverine's fierce persona. This guy is a wild man, and we love it for its uniqueness. This mutton chop style beard will require a little more sculpting, if you want to try this one on for size, here's what you do. Grab your MT1 and trim your mustache down to short stubble. I recommend the lowest setting so you get just a touch of stubble. You also need to shave out a chin gap, which you can use your zero blade or a razor. Now, the mutton chops can vary in length, so it really just depends on how long you want them. But I'd, I'd aim for roughly one inch of length or so. As for the cheeks, keep them natural and nice and high. And when it comes to the neckline, you want this style to be slightly higher to form the chops, so it won't run quite down as low on your neckline as a full beard, but rather just below the curve of your jawline. Now, I happen to run into Hugh at my gym recently, and man, I have to say, this dude is just as jacked in real life, and a super nice guy. Plus, when I saw him recently, he was growing out his full beard, and it looked fantastic, so props to you, Hugh. Now, these guys may be rocking slightly different styles, but what's clear to me is that they all look much more badass with their beards. All right guys, that does it for us today. Now, there are tons of other bearded celebrities that we could talk about, so if you'd like us to cover any of them, drop them in the comments and we'll share our thoughts. Thanks for watching and for your support, guys. It truly means the world to us here at Live Bearded. If you ever need anything at all, guys, we are here for you. And as always, Live Bearded, brother.